The Baltimore Orioles baseball Thanks, team is just one of the many businesses, big and small, impacted by Monday's riots. Here's NBC's Peter Alexander. For more than eight hours overnight, the Levy family helplessly watched their store surveillance cameras from home as looters gutted the sports mart they've owned for 35 years. They were coming in and just cleaning us out, totally. This mess is all that's left. They want to rebuild, but where do you begin? It's just sad. I mean, my heart is breaking. My heart is breaking for Baltimore. It's breaking for all the store owners, and it's breaking for us. And I'm joined now by Joanna Sullivan, editor-in-chief of Baltimore Business Journal. Joanna, thank you for being with me. Thanks for having me. What kind of hit economically is uh, the city taking? Well, we're still trying to assess that, but already you can see that, you know, businesses have to close by 10 p.m. because of the curfew. So that means theaters, restaurants, bars, uh, most of Harbor Place, all of Harbor Place is affected. So we're going to be see, feeling this economic hit for a while. And with the Orioles not allowing fans in today, that's a huge hit. On a normal day, you would have 40,000 people downtown. Your website has some pictures of local businesses devastated by Monday's rioting. What are you hearing from these business owners? Well, you know, they're very worried. Some of them did not have enough insurance, so they're worried whether or not, you know, how are they going to rebuild? Uh, they've lost employees who are not going to be able to stick around and wait. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a rebuilding process. And some of the neighborhoods where we saw the damage are going to have a hard time recovering. Uh, you saw the footage of Mondaman Mall. It was very exciting when, when they got a Target, you know, a few years back. You know, people wonder, will Target stay? Will, you know, businesses come back to that mall? Yeah, and, you know, we've seen images of the CVS uh, being trashed, and, and that's a big corporation, uh, but it wasn't always there. And, and then, uh, you know, a lot of these stores that were affected, the, the check cashing store, the, uh, the liquor stores, those aren't huge corporations. No, and that's where re we're really going to feel it. In my neighborhood, a sneaker store was hit. They smashed the window. They, um, you know, strew, threw everything around the store. They took things. Uh, that owner of Sneaky Pete's, uh, Sneaky uh, Feet uh, is wondering how he is going to come back, as are many other small businesses. And Baltimore is a city full of small business, so uh, we'll be watching this situation closely. You know, for our readers, you know, we cover greater business yeah. in the area. Joanna, thank you for being with me. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks for having me.